This is News 12 The Bronx. He, he always finds me, she used to say. When she woke up this morning, who was standing outside was him. Vilma Torres has heard the stories and the sheer fear from victims of stalking to know it's serious. We kind of tend to just think, no, isn't that nice that someone is sending me text messages or wanting to know, where do you do, you know, where are you? Let me pick you up. But the key thing is the repetitiveness. Stalking is a crime, and Torres says it's underreported. Whether it's the ex-boyfriend you think is just trying to get you back or someone on the train who sees you every day at the same time. If at first you don't think it's anything, eventually, she says, you'll feel a difference. When you say, well, what is, how do you feel when you, you leave work and this individual is standing there? How does it make you feel when this person is your place of worship or at a gym? And the person says, you know, it kind of makes me nervous and scared. Things you should be aware of, getting repeated calls or hang-ups from this person. If they're following you, showing up wherever you are, sending you repeated texts, letters, gifts, or you notice them driving by or hanging out near your home. What should you do? No, you're not alone. You can call police since stalking is a crime or call the Safe Horizon hotline. They can help you document the stalking and make a plan. It gives them back some control and you, you hope that it makes you know a difference and you realize it does because you see it. Now back in June, the NYPD and the mayor's office to combat domestic violence launched an anti-stalking initiative out in Staten Island that they plan on expanding to all of the boroughs. Now out there already, they've seen a 250% increase in stalking offenses reported. From East 161st Street, I'm Jessica Cunnington.